Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Christopher Chisholm once again for Movie Time on the streets of Hollywood today at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel for a casting call for a new film, Assault of the Killer Bimbos, a film that already has classic written all over it. The ladies today are to be between ages 20 and 30. They want blondes, brunettes, and redheads, and uh, they're told to dress appropriately. So. Uh, we're going to see what the uh, bimbos are, uh, uh, ladies are dressed like today for Assault of the Killer Bimbos. Let's take a look at this event, shall we? Yes. You are uh, the writer and director of Assault of the Killer Bimbos. A little bit about the story first. <clears throat> a little about the story. It's about three uh, killer bimbos misunderstood by society who are being framed for a murder they didn't commit. Oh. And they're on the run from the police to the Mexican border. And along the way, they run into a crazy cast of characters that it, they assault in true bimbo style. So it's a, it's a comedy. I want to do a, a real so kind need, of crazy you need comedy. To go. You're next. Good luck. Thanks. And there's a scene where the three girls are making up for dates. And probably maybe one or two of the three might have to do a second of nudity, just hoplessness. How would you feel about that? It's not a criteria for getting hired, so don't yeah. feel pressured to, um, to say yes or no. Probably, I mean, I would prefer not to. I don't know if I'm toplessness candidate. That's what someone else said. I think it's hysterical. Yeah, I don't think well, I'm a candidate for it. So you I don't might mind be open to it depending thing. on how it's set up. And yeah, stuff. it depends on how it's set up. Okay. And don't feel like it's not a criteria. Yeah. So two of the three girls, while they're changing the dates, there may be a second of not toplessness. Right. I wonder how you feel about that. It is done in good taste. So if it's presented well, you're open to talking about it. But that's fine. Great. For just a millimeter of a second. I understand. <laughs> I understand. The, the most important thing about the film to us, as far as the, the talent of ability, because we won't get some girls with enormous film experience here, uh, is, is maybe someone with experience in front of a camera, either commercially or some theatrical releases. Um, a dance background would be nice. Uh, sometimes real important is a great sense of humor. Denise Lorette, yes. you are from Iowa. Yes, I am. And you are here in Hollywood, and you are here for yes. Assault of the Killer Bimbos. Uh, you saw, did, where'd you see the casting call notice? In the drama log, where else? Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, what drew you to come to the Roosevelt Hotel today? Well, I always feel that uh, you really need to get out and push yourself if you're going to get anywhere in this business. And anybody that is anywhere in this business will tell you that. Uh -huh. So I thought, what have I got to lose? How do you think it went today for your call for the Killer Bimbos? Great. Um, she liked a couple of the films I already was in, so great. I mean, every interview goes well. It's just a matter of whether or not you're the type they're looking for, you know. I was born to be a bimbo. And you've been preparing all your life for this role, then? You don't prepare to be a bimbo. Great bimbos are born. If you're looking for the perfect bimbo, uh, they might have found the, found the perfect bimbo in you, don't you think? They don't need to look anymore. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell me, um, what, what, what's your diet consistent? What do bimbos like to eat? <laughs> I love to eat junk food. Uh -huh. <laughs> but as you can see, <laughs> you can't really eat that much, so. Oh, pizza's my favorite. Uh -huh. You were in Who's That Girl? Who's oh, that in the girl? prison? Yeah, I was a, uh, what are the prison guards? And I get to, when Madonna punched out the lead guard, and I get to catch her. So it was fun. Okay. <laughs> well, good luck. I think this might be uh, the perfect role for you. They might oh. just find the perfect victim. Oh, well, thank you. I hope so. Could we see Becky LeBeau, please? Oh, I gotta go, All right, good luck. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. There's a scene, yes. I'm sure you get asked sometimes, which you probably hate. Well, I take my clothes Well, no. there's a scene where the three girls are in, getting ready for dates. The three yeah. bimbos are in a motel together, uh, uh, and there's some topless, to not uh, heavy no, duty. Uh, you know, I, I do topless when it's for um, a part that's a substantial part. I don't just like, if somebody calls me and goes, we do the shower scene, and that's it. No, you know, all the three, but it, the yeah. girls have the nudity. It's one scene, it's the three uh -huh. leads in the movie, and they're all together. So it's yeah. not like it would be the only one if it was. No, that's okay. I like my body, so I, I, like, just... I like to take my clothes off. I like to have my clothes off better than I like to have them off. <laughs> I'm looking for someone that's got a good sense of comedy and can act because they've got to make me look good as a director. So I want good actresses. So what are the criteria for the bimbos, though? I mean, uh, great bods, <laughs> very good looking, and a good sense of comedy and can act. You know, no superstars, but uh, it'd be nice to discover somebody. I hope you find your bimbos. Thank you, I did too. <laughs> Hunt for the perfect bimbos. Thank you very okay. much. Thanks a lot. All right, bye-bye.